ministers, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a great pleasure for me to be here at the Oslo Science Conference to meet some of the early results from the fourth International Polar Year. And it is a great pleasure also to invite you all to Oslo and Norway. This is the largest polar science gathering ever, and the conference certainly comes at the right time. The rapid changes in the polar regions, especially in the Arctic, that you have observed and recorded over the last decades concerns us all. The need for polar research has never been greater. During the last couple of years, I have had the pleasure of visiting both Svalbard and Greenland, as was mentioned, together with Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden and Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark. Now, these trips were fun, uh, but they were also meaningful. We met with fishermen and hunters who described how they, over the last 50 years, had observed that the ocean rise more than 30 centimeters, that a glacier tongue of several kilometers had melted, and that the winter ice was less reliable. And we met with scientists who are hoping to observe temperature and climate more than 140,000 years back by drilling into the ice cap. But the most impressive of all was the greatness of nature itself. It became more evident to me that the entire globe is a mechanism that needs to be fine-tuned and well-balanced. 